Hello, welcome back to my channel and my page, depending on where you are watching from. Come on in, we are gonna have a good time today. As you see, I am in the middle of 100 days of live videos, and I am so happy to be here. It is a wonderful Wednesday, and I like to call it Bo Wednesday. Bo Wednesday, kind of rolls off my tongue. And today, we are gonna make a really fun bow using um, a doily, a doily. Um, so I was wanting a fun, like vintage looking bow one day and I thought, ooh, lace, lace, lace. Well, and I have a lace messy bow that is a video that's on my YouTube. Or um, I thought, well, what about just using a doily? Because everybody typically has doilies or access to doilies. I'll actually put a link below to my favorite doilies. Hello, Miss Rosa. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, you guys can check it out. But <clears throat> hi, Jill. How are you? But today, I'm going to show you the hands down easiest stinking bow you will ever make that is still really cute. Because there's some easy bows out there and you're like, mm. I don't really know if I want to make that, but this one is so cute. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Kimberly, watching from Rockdale, Texas. Love it. And Miss Kim and Miss Linda. Come on in, everybody. We have our Facebook friends. We have our YouTube friends. We are just having <clears throat> a good time. Now, if you are over on my Facebook, <clears throat> hi, Tammy. Hi, Judy. Hi, Bonnie. Hey, girl. All right. <clears throat> Be sure to do this for me, you guys. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle the love. We call it Crush It over on this page. Southern Crush. Sorry, y'all, there's a hair. Southern Crush at home. We crush the video. So if you are on YouTube you can put, you can push this button as well, the little arrow under the video and send it over, forward it to a friend. Um, but also on YouTube, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe and notification bell so that you can get alerted every time I do a new video. And that's going to be super important coming up, my friends, because here's the deal. <clears throat> I'm going to be um, taking off the text list. I think I'm getting rid of it. I don't know. A lot of people get a little bit stressed about it. Um, I worry about my people over on the West Coast. Hey, Lori, I'm so glad you're watching from YouTube. Um, thanks for being here and for being over there. And Lauren, how are you? Hold on. I got to hit new comments. All right. So make sure you hit that notification bell and the subscribe button over on YouTube so that you will get notified when I put out a new video. If you're listening to me from Facebook and you um, are not already over on my YouTube, get over there, run over there, because there is extra content that I do not put on Facebook. So you're gonna want to hit that as well. And make sure to hit the notification bell because I am getting rid of the text service. Um, it's just expensive, y'all. And I noticed I have several thousand people on my text list and I send out a text and only like a handful more people come to the stuff. So I love you, but know that if you're on Facebook, I will be here live at 9 a.m. Central. So you can count on that. Yes, Miss Tony McGee, you are catching me live today. Um, Thank you for being here. Rosa Hardy, you are such a doll. Mwah. Thank you for crushing it. If you're on Facebook, thank you in advance for the hearts and the stars and all the things you can share with me. On YouTube, my goal is to get to the 10,000 followers fast because I get to share with you so many more fun things. Like I can put uh, merch up in the little thing. I can add... Um, alerts and supers and chats. I don't know all the things because I'm kind of a newbie over there, but, um, I'm within like 1500 
uh, friends joining me over there for uh, to qualify. So if you're not over there already, do me the hot mess favor <laughs> of hitting that button. So let's get to our um, let's get to our bow. Okay, I'm gonna push um, this camera on. It somehow did not make it on this morning. I am. St I started a new routine today. I started a new routine. And I guess turning on my video was not part of it. <laughs> Thank you, Regina. I'm so glad you caught me live. So today we are going to make some doily bows. And I want to show you how, yes, even you can make a doily bow. First, I'm going to start by just showing you how I used it on a project. So you can see what the final one looks like before we get, before we get to making our own. All right. Jill Bruce. Hey, Vicki. Jill Bruce. I'm so glad you're here. She's over on my YouTube. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So over on YouTube, I am Southern Crush at Home, Melanie Ferguson. So two different ways you can find me. This is a doily bow. Give me some hearts if you love this doily bow and want to learn how to make one. These are going to come in super handy for the holidays. I promise you, you will be making these and you'll be thinking of me um, as you make the doily bow. Okay. New to the page, Lori, welcome. I'm so glad. So glad. So this is just a pumpkin that we made on Monday from Dollar Tree Supplies and we used a patina finish and you can see how to, that looks right here. Um, it's, it's like that. And then this is just a little Dollar Tree word. And it is a pumpkin with some Jenga blocks. This is just a pizza pan from Dollar Tree. Super fun. But we made it into this vintage looking pizza pan. I mean, pizza pan. We made it into this vintage looking pumpkin uh, piece of decor. And then this is something I added off camera. And I'm going to show you how to make this today. So let's get started. I've been putting it off because it is so easy. Y'all It literally take us five seconds. So I'm going to point us down a little bit so that you can see how to make this. So you're going to want to take some doilies. So I will again, link some of my favorite doilies. Um, yes, I did Vicky patina that word and I added way extra to the word so it would pop. So this is just uh, some doilies that I got online and I will, like I said, link it in the video below. And if you are following my hundred days of lives, it will be in that video library. And the link is part of this video. You will see it, but stack of these, I've got these, I've got randoms that I get when I pick up, uh, when I pick up doilies at like thrift shops and antique malls. If it's a good price, um, they have to be on sale. And then this is another stack that you can find online. Love it. Hello, Monique from Southeast Florida. I'm so glad you could pop on the live video today. And then this is just another big stack. Do y'all want me to send off some doilies today? I'll tell you, I will send off some doilies today so you can make your very own bow. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a doily kit for three people. And all you have to do is crush the video. Tell me that you crush the video. And if you're on, oh, and, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube and hit the notification bell while you're at it. So if you subscribe to YouTube, I know it's painful. If you're not over there, you're like, I don't want to be over there. Well, if you want a doily, you do not have to do it. But if you want a doily, you need to do that. And I think that'll help. I think that will help me. And then come back and let me know. Just say, hey, I crushed it. You crushed it. You uh, are on my YouTube and I can just get, um, my husband does all that verification stuff and helps me with the winners. 
Yay. Okay, let's do this. So you're gonna need some doilies and some zip ties. So these are just zip ties from the Dollar Tree. Super easy, super affordable. Um, you can get a package for $1.25. These come in different colors. This one is clearly like a tan color. And then my favorite are the little clear ones, but either one will work. And I just wanted to show you that you can, um, you can uh, use whichever one. Let me see if it will let me give you the YouTube channel here. Um, thank you, Lauren. Okay. Cam, comment. No, it will not. Oh, post comment. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. I think it's going to let me. There it is. There it is. Did it let me? Oh, man. No, it didn't. Hold on. Y'all, delete the comment and add a comment. Y'all are so patient with me. Thank you so much. There we go. Come on now. Return. Hold on. Why? 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 Okay. There. I think I did that. There I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Star comment. It lets me star the comment. Whatever star means. All right. There is the YouTube channel, my friends. So crush the video. Go to the YouTube channel. Now, let's make this fun bow. And I think that that's in our way now. But here, now. Now it's not. That's hopefully helpful. Now, I'm just going to take this size of a doily. This is about a six inch. No, it's, it's a full, this is a full, about an eight inch doily. Okay. You can get whatever size you want. The size does, the size does not matter on this. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a little clear zip tie and just find the middle and kind of pinch it, pinch it in. See, just pinch it in. That is it, my friends. And then you're going to thread yourself a little zip tie underneath. Now we're going to doll this up. I think the hardest part is getting your zip tie together. Why is my zip tie giving me grief? Do I have it backwards? Probably. Oh, no. See, now I've got it just kind of started. Got it started. Then I'm going to flip it over just because there's not a real front and back, but you can decide what you want for the front and back. Look at this. Is this not the cutest bow you've ever seen in your life? Give me some hearts if you love how simple this bow is. You can do it. You can do it. Um, I promise you. So super stinking cute doily bow. Now let's talk about all the different ways we can zhuzh this up. Do y'all ever say zhuzh? So you can also make it floppy. Isn't that pretty? A floppy one. And just imagine this. Is this not look like, hold on you friends. You friends of mine, hold on. I got you. I got you if you've got me. Hang tight. I got stuff going everywhere. What do you think? What do you think? This is just a little doll head bead. What do you think? Oh my word. She is a literal doll. She's a literal doll. And then you could put a little pipe cleaner on her. Anyway, this would be a beautiful little doily angel. I think she's super simple, super easy. Look at this. Okay, so this, I'm trying to get her head straight. But listen, you can uh, glue her down. I'm just, I just threaded her through the rest of the zip tie. You can glue her down. You could put as, um, a pipe cleaner around her and give her a little halo. But 
I think this is such a cute idea. So this is just one idea to make with your doily bow. Put her little head right over there. She lost her head. Oh no. Um, let's see here. Karen likes the angel. I'm so glad. So we're back to our floppy little doily bow that we just made. The doll head beads, I got them online and I do have them linked over on my Amazon, but I will get a link put for below here. Now, I also have a link for, sorry y'all, I had to get my liquid confidence. My uh, favorite bling, okay? So I will put that below in the, in the description but we can pick a piece of bling to add to our doily bow. And I'm particularly um, enamored with this um, idea of the, uh, what is it called? <clears throat> Antique bronze butterfly. Antique bronze butterfly. So we have cute little uh, bees. Sorry about the glare. Hold on, we've got a bee, we've got a tiny butterfly. Might be easier to show it to you that way. We've got a little dragonfly. You guys let me know what you like the most. Ooh, mama likes this one. I really like that one. Then we've got kind of a pearl one. A plain butterfly, a large butterfly, and a not so large butterfly. I like this one too, but I'm thinking, whoo, that one's huge. Oh wow, that one's beautiful. I think my friends, we need to find a medium sized one that will pop. How about we try I feel like this one's too big, but you get the idea. You can totally add an embellishment on here. I sort of really like this one, but it doesn't have any bling. It's just uh, plain. But you can totally hot glue yourself any old brooch or piece of jewelry to the center of your doily bow. You get the idea. Okay, another idea, just so that we can keep, keep the ball rolling here. Let me get my scissors, because I'm gonna re release, release our current situation. So easy, look, doily is saved for another day if you decide to do something else with it, okay? Now, I'm going to take this doily. Yes, Cindy, that's a great idea. And then I'm going to take this smaller doily. And you know how doilies come in different shades of antiquing? This one's a little bit darker. You can barely tell, but it is. Um, and then I'm going to layer it. Okay, so you could totally layer it. And I'm going to take the more brown zip tie, pinch it towards the middle. See how easy that is, my friend. And then zip tie it. I've got it started. I'm going to flip it over, tighten it up. Boom. I have a, you can fluff it. I have a layered doily bow. How cute is she? Oh my word, you guys. I'm obsessed. Absolutely obsessed with the simplicity of this idea and the beauty of this idea. Oh my goodness. So there's the two doily bows together layered and you could get as creative as you want. Doilies come in all shapes and sizes. You can dye these different colors, my friend. 
You could dye these for the holidays. Um, so say it was patriotic. You could do red, leave one plane and do blue. So red, white, and blue. But I think that the possibilities are absolutely endless and you can make as many layers as you want and make it the biggest, fluffiest bow you, you can imagine. All right, so I'm just showing you here one more. So this is a huge doily. Can you imagine if we put this one behind this one? Look, now you've got a doily bow, bow made for like a bag, a gift bag to make your gift a little more special. I'm sorry, I just didn't zip tie it. So I'm trying to hold it just pinched, but just to show you the layers and how you could do multiple layers of the doilies, you don't want it to be just all jammed up like that, but you get the idea. I know you ladies are super smart, super smart. Um, okay, so another idea let me, let me break this little zip tie off. And this is the last idea. And y'all have to tell me your favorite. Is it the, the plane with the bling? Is it the, the little angel head with the um, wings? Or is it the layered bow? Now you can take some different ribbon. And not every ribbon looks so hot with it, but you could take this burlap trim. This is just from the Dollar Tree, you guys. Super easy to get a hold of. And I have some back here, so I'm just gonna grab some that's already open. You can take this, you can take um, Rick Rack. Do y'all remember Rick Rack? <laughs> Depending on the color of your doilies, and you could layer some of these fun patterns in. So I've just got the couple of patterns from the Dollar Tree going on here. And then you just cut yourself some ribbon or burlap trim or what have you, the length of your doily. I'm just getting the ends of this a little better. And I'm just gonna do about, whoo, that one's too small. A handful of these. That one's wrinkly. It's nice to press them because they are a little bit wonky sometimes, but I just did like four of these, but you could certainly get away with less if you wanted to. And then I'm gonna leave the layers because the, the other bow that I did did not have layers that had the burlap trim. And then I'm just gonna get one more little zip tie, zip tie this one together, bada bing, bada boom. That's my favorite thing to say, you guys. I don't know why. flip it over, zip tie it all the way down, and then fluff it out. And again, I love the pops of extra ribbon. And again, these blend really well, so you're not gonna see them as much as you would if they were a certain color. But, you can see how they kind of just, I'm gonna trim this one. Give it a little something extra, zhuzh up your bow. See how it's bringing some layers and height to it. It's probably so hard to see because it's almost the same color, but it just looks like more fluffiness, if that makes any sense at all. And then again, you can totally add an embellishment. So let's add this little Let's add this little butterfly while we are at it. Now, of course, if you do add an embellishment and you don't just pin it on and you actually use the glue, it's gonna be a little harder on your um, doily as far as reusing it. But if you're gifting it, you don't have to worry about reusing it anyway. Oh my word, y'all. This is adorbs. If I do say so myself, here we go. Look at her. She is so precious. What do you think? Will you try 
a doily bow in my honor. <laughs> Will you try one of these for yourself? Let me know in the comments below. I always absolutely love to see your creations and your twists. I know some of you will have some great ideas for making these your own. Um, thank you, Miss Kimmery. She says adorable. I'm still here. I'm still here. Super stinking cute. Um, I am going to provide you a link for doilies and for the bling, um, Miss Lisa. So. Y'all are amazing. Karen Warren says she loves it. Diana Gomez says she will try it. Elizabeth says, yes, she will. I love you guys. Y'all are amazing. So listen, if you want me to send you a kit to make your own doily bow, all you have to do is crush the video and uh, make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell over on my YouTube channel. And I pinned that comment here and then it'll also be, well, it's on my video library. If you're following along for the 100 days of lives, then you have seen the video library. Um, and it is right there at the top because it says, if you also want to see some other creations, go over to the, um, YouTube channel. Yay. I'm so glad. Yes. For Christmas, Miss Laura Brown, she made a good point and I made this point at the very beginning and I forgot to talk about it again, but Christmas is coming. These little angels would be amazing as well as these, uh, bows for you guys to put on packages or to, um, decorate your tree with. Well, can't you just see a little mini tree with doily bows all over it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for coming and uh, joining me this morning. It is a wonderful Wednesday, a bow Wednesday. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of this um, amazing gift of today. Mwah. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs>